Yo, what is going on guys? Luke96 here. And we're back with some Resident Evil 4 gameplay. And you know what? I just thought I hadn't done a commentary for a while. Thought I'd speak to you guys. I hope you are all doing well. And uh, yeah. Uh, just continuing in the castle on Resident Evil 4. Which is probably one of my favourite sections of the game. Uh, I'm playing the Xbox One version. Um, I am eventually going to try and get... I had a setup a while ago where I was recording my Nintendo Wii and I had a GameCube controller plugged into the Wii and I was playing GameCube games like Medal of Honor Frontline and uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, uh, loads of good gameplay games, Super Smash Bros, you know, just loads of, loads of good GameCube games really. I was like, I want to get that um, set back up again so I can do, because I just want to play the GameCube version of Resident Evil 4. Not because I don't think there's any massive differences, just purely for the fact that I love the control scheme and I just love how it plays on the GameCube version, it's really good. But um, here's a knife in this guy here, look. You know what, once you learn the mechanics of this game and realise how important the knife is in Resident Evil 4, the easier the game becomes for you. And this video actually will teach you a lesson. Don't get greedy with Leon's suplex move. The reason I say that is wait and watch till the end of the video and you'll see what I did because I had a terrible death. And you know what? I love, I absolutely love in this game sniping them when you've got the semi-auto sniper and you just blow the reds off in the, in the castle section. It's brilliant and the suplexes are just so fun. Leon suplex and the bloody, oh, it's just brilliant. Watching them just absolutely, the strength of Leon is unreal. It's like a bloody Olympic wrestler. Um, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil, as usual. Uh, waiting for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Freeze Beta, which comes out on Thursday, which is, I think, for Xbox users. I, I know it's already out for PlayStation users. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Hopefully it's a good Call of Duty. I've been watching a lot of other YouTubers play it and stuff. And I've, you know what, I've heard mostly good things about it so far. So I've got some pretty alright hopes for it. You know, I reckon it'll be a good game. Um. Oh yeah, this section. Oh God. There must be a better strategy to this section that I need to look up. Bang, look at the headshot. Boom, headshot. I definitely think sniping them is the best bet. I uh, messed up so bad there and I panicked and tried to bloody quickscope the guy. <laughs> um, for those of you that keep up with the channel, you know the channel, you know, I pretty much play video games on the channel, darts and like fitness. Um, I uh, went to a tournament a couple of days ago, which was pretty fun. It wasn't, wasn't fantastic. I had some pretty good people in my group and that. I yeah, didn't play the best, but I had a lot of fun and it was a good experience and good match experience and stuff really because, you know, there's practice and, and stuff at home compared to actual real matches is a big difference. So that was pretty cool. And as far as fitness goes, um, uh, I've just been doing like my usual routine. I've got like a standard routine that I do when I really don't feel like training and that's where I basically do like a hundred of everything. But God, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Past couple of days, I've had the worst cold. Just a cough and cold. So, 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 like, bunged up. Suplex, boom! <laughs> so bunged up. Oh, it was terrible. Someone in my house had it first, and then I thought, I'm going to stay away. And I stayed away, and I still ended up catching it. And I thought, oh, God. No one likes being sick. But uh, it's coming to that season now, isn't it? Winter where everything's going to get... You know, everyone will catch on to bloody everything. But, you know, I really love playing Resident Evil in winter. It's got a really nice vibe to it. And I've completed this game God knows how many times. There's so many people, I'm sure, that have completed this over and over again. Because the possibilities are endless in it. It's just so random. Anything could happen each playthrough. It always gives you something new each playthrough. This and The Last of Us are like my two favourite replayable games. They're just brilliant. Saying that, I also like Gears of War as well. Gears of War, I've completed that a fair few times. And speaking of Gears of War, a couple of days ago recommended on my YouTube 
Uh, the Gears of War. Not a suplex. Boom. Uh, the Gears of War. Remember the original Gears of War trailer? And it's got the song Mad World on it. Oh, I absolutely love that. I absolutely love it. Love that trailer. It's classic. Reminds me of early 360 days. And like, I remember the first time ever creating an account on the 360 and like getting gold and stuff. It was so good. I'm not all Xbox, by the way. Um, I do. I have had PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 5s, PS2s. I've always ended up getting both consoles. And I did have a PS5 when they come out. I just didn't like it. I just couldn't, couldn't get into it. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the controls, the layout. I, I just weren't feeling it. Just really weren't feeling it. And I'm a big Ratchet and Glam fan. fan. Really like Ratchet and Glank. Honest to God, uh, I remember being on party chats with friends and stuff, and they were like, God, are you playing Ratchet and Clank again? I'd be like, Yeah, there's like my fourth playthrough. I collected everything, I platinumed it, everything. I just absolutely love Ratchet and Clank. It reminds me of like early PS2 days when I was a kid and I first got like into gaming and stuff. Uh, that and Jack and Dax there. Um, Sly Cooper, big fan of Sly Cooper. Love it. Played them a while ago on an emulation for my computer. It was really running well. So uh, I might do that again. I might get the emulation set back up and start doing game plays with that PC SX2. That was that was really fun. So simple to set up as well. And then it's endless. Then you can just play whatever you want. Because I really want to play through Medal of Honor. I, I, I absolutely love the original Medal of Honor's Rise and Sun and Frontline are probably my two favourite Medal of Honor's. But uh, this gameplay is coming to an end soon, guys. So... Uh, thanks very much as well for, I think I've just come up to like 230 something subs, which is great, I just enjoy posting anyway, so that's been great, I'm glad people are enjoying the videos and as much as I am because I enjoy making them and it's great to share gaming moments with other people and any other moments really, so um, I got greedy at the end there with the suplex and it cost me a life and I was I was having a pretty good playthrough as well here. Yeah. I was really liking how I was playing. Wasted a little bit too much ammo. Probably could have saved conserved a little bit more ammunition. But yeah. Yeah, you'll see what happens now. <laughs> Ashley just starts playing absolute dumbass mode here though. She just starts standing in front of them like. Oh, that break. She gets hit now. And I'm thinking, really? Then she gets picked up, look. I was like, oh, come on. But, hey ho. I've had many deaths. I wish there was a death count. Yeah, and then I get this. I think it's this guy now. I suplex one of them and kills me. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. And uh, take care. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Look at that. Stupid. Stupid. And the worst bit is, it puts you back in that room. And I think it's called the water room. And you've got to do it all over and blub again. Starts from the, starts from the beginning with the guys with the shields. It's annoying. <laughs> see ya.